And from the world of boxing, nobody better. Promoter Frank Warren, Happy New Year, sir. Happy New Year to you, Jim, and to you, Simon. How are you? All good, mate. mate. All we're, good. We're all good. You get back from Saudi Arabia in one piece. Yeah, yeah. Got back very late on uh, Christmas Eve. It was, it was, uh, yeah, it was good. It was a good show. It was entertaining. There's some good fights on there. Some upsets. You had a bit of drama. It was, it was. I thought it was a really good night's boxing. Okay, well. How do you reflect on it, Frank? Because as we saw, some of the biggest names in in, in the fight game were there, uh, all under the one roof. You get very chummy with Cristiano Ronaldo, which was wonderful. He seemed to enjoy the night, that's for sure. But then we saw Joseph Parker, as Simon predicted, to be fair to him, do a job on Deontay Wilder. And then we saw Anthony Joshua do a job on Valen. But how much did we learn from it? How much did you learn from it? Whereas, you know, I said all along there would be upsets on there and I felt that would be the case. Um, I thought that um, Deontay only had one round in two years and he and he looked like that. He looked like, to be honest, he looked like a, a fighter who'd seen better days and, and, and Joe Parker done brilliantly. But they got their tactics right. Him and Andy Lee, he boxed extremely well and I don't want to take anything away from him. Um, and Deontay just wasn't at the races. I thought... Um, I thought AJ done done extremely well. I was a bit disappointed though in Wallin because I was expecting a bit more for him. But having said that, you can only, you know, he, he didn't let him get into the fight. So you've got to take your hat off to him for his performance. I think that's about right. Is that about right? I'm just going to jump in and say, Frank, one thing though I think we're all agreed on is that somehow they're going to have to work in the atmosphere because there is a deathly hush throughout some of the fights with the Saudis, the well-mannered people that they are, sitting back and enjoying the entertainment. I don't know how you get around that. I don't agree with that, um, Jim, and I'll tell you why. It's, it's no different when you have two foreign fighters fighting in the UK on the card and the people were engrossed in watching the fight because it's not a, lo a, 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 a somebody who they can get behind as a nation. They don't, sometimes that happens. Some of the fights there, they were very much behind, and there was a lot of cheering for some of them. But other fights, there weren't. But that's nothing unusual. And I, I, I don't quite agree with that. I was there, so I know there was an atmosphere there. Um, well, how do you square that then, Frank? Because I, I watched it. I watched it from the very get-go, coming out of the Spurs-Everton game, put it straight on, watched Junior Faye versus Frank Sanchez, then on to Mark Demore versus Hergovic, and on and on and on, because because the event was billed so well and marketed so well. But if you haven't got Saudi fighters fighting, you're always going to have that challenge. And it it did feel, well, no, 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 it no, did no. feel like there wasn't an atmosphere. It did feel like you could hear doors shut. Well, that's not, that's not true. I was there. It certainly was not like that. I mean, you know, you're talking about uh, the early fight, Sanchez and Far, you know, it's a, it's it's, it's a, uh, an American fighting a guy from New Zealand, and that's what it was. Of course, there'll be Saudi fighters will come through eventually. That'll take time, but the Saudis got behind AJ. They got they certainly got behind uh, Deontay to start with, and then switched their allegiance over during the fight to to because uh, they're a neutral audience. Got and then got and then got behind Joe Parker. And they certainly got they certainly got engrossed in the fight, and they were very much behind um, uh, Jarrell Miller against uh, against um, Daniel till Daniel Dubois got into the fight. So there was an atmosphere, and I, and I don't care it come across. I was there and I heard it, and and there was in the in the arena, and you know. Yeah, but I understand that, Frank. And of course, there's a different atmosphere inside the arena than there is on the television. But we both know that this is a product that's getting marketed around the world, and so without being wanting to pee on your parade, which is why you're becoming a little bit prickly about it, it did lack atmosphere. It did feel like it came across with a lack of atmosphere. Well, you're, you're, not, you're not peeing on my parade. You're just peeing on, peeing on an event, which was a good event. I mean, you're just looking for a problem in the event. That's that's how it is with you. And so is it only praise then, Frank? Is it, it's only praise the thing that we can deal with? Because I don't. I think the card no, that you put together, the event that you well, put together, was what significant. You, well, what, you what took do, all that praise, do, like the cat sorry, and the cream. What do, what do the people pay for? A fight, the fight? or to listen to the crowd. I think both, don't they? No, I don't think so. I pay to watch a fight. Of course. I mean, I go to football matches and, it's, and I've been to football matches and it's definitely... But you're saying something that didn't happen. It wasn't like that. You weren't there. I was there. No, no, I, no, I, no I we, get, we, we get that. We're, you know we're, what? We're, we're you not... know what? You're looking, you're look, all you're looking for is a problem. And I don't get that. No, it's, well, I, could, I, could, I, could, I could expand no, upon it, Frank. I could expand upon it and say that sorry, I think the, 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 the flip sorry, side to Saudi, because all you guys are sitting there nuzzling on the Saudi tip, deferring to everybody. If there's a big problem in the future, then don't buy it. TalkSport doesn't have to buy it. No, that's not it's the point, Frank. 
point, you, Frank, you can't just come on and have one-way conversations about how you see the world. It's a two-way conversation. I think it's a brilliant event that you put on. I think well, you work the you Oracle, <coughs> but I also think you, you, <coughs> you observe it, other things. I could turn back to you, you and what say... What would you much rather do? The crowd, the crowd, a noise, a massive noise, what you think is a massive noise, or would you much rather see... Crack? I, I, no, well, I, well, I would say, Frank, I think, I think it's a different atmosphere is what we're agreed on here, because, for example, when Simon and I were ringside, at Fury White. It was one hell of an atmosphere that night here in London. And it's not the same. Our perception is it's not the same coming out of Riyadh. It was two British guys fighting each other. That's what it was. That's what it was. You know, I've got to say, pretty. I don't even want to get... It's a pretty ridiculous conversation I'm having here. They were good fights. I'm into boxing. I mean, the watching the fights... You're into listening to crowds. I mean, you know. No, Frank. You, cut, cut it you, out, Frank. You want that's, to have a that, that's not true, Frank. I, I've got to tell you, I've got better things to do with my time than to, to have a debate about. How, how did you think AJ came through it, Frank? Sorry? How do you think AJ came through it then on the night? I just said uh, at the start of it, I thought he'd done extremely well. I thought he'd done what he had to do. And, and, and as far as the public concerned, uh, he's resurrected his career. There's no doubt about that. Um, as I said, you know, Wallin, I, I was, I, I did expect a bit more from him, but he didn't allow him into the fight, and he'd done a job on him. He, he was punch perfect at the end. Yeah. Do you and, think? Do you think that was more about Anthony Joshua, Frank, or was it more about Wallin? Because I, I don't, I don't know if we learned anything about Anthony in that fight. Because the one accusation that people make of him is that when it comes, gets a bit hot in the kitchen, he doesn't want to be there anymore. And Wallin didn't bring anything like that. Is it because Anthony didn't allow him to? Or because Walling wasn't what we thought he was going to be. I think it's a bit of both, Simon. I think that, I think it's a bit of both. There. I think he actually, you know, I think Walling didn't get into the fight. I don't, you know, it started off a bit. I mean, the first couple of rounds were were a bit, you know. I mean, you know, there was a Tentative. bit nip. But then when he got into it, AJ started picking him apart, and he just he well, he just weren't at the races and done a job and knocked him out. And uh, sorry, and, and and he stopped the fight in the corner. And I mean, he, he didn't want to. He, you know, he, had, he looked to me. He was a beaten fighter going back to the corner when the corner pulled him out. Mm. He bust nose up badly. So he'd done what he had to do. And I'm, you know, and I can't. I couldn't find any criticism for that because he did. He did his job. He, what he, he did what his he job. Did, what he had to do was beat the guy in front of him. And going into that fight, me included, I felt that there that could I, be trouble ahead. He, yeah. he could be in a tough fight. Yeah, but he made it a much easier job. Than than, than I thought it was. Were you surprised by Wilder? It, to me, and again, you're going to get the ump with this, but to me, it looked like Wilder turned up because Saudi money brings him there and there was nothing left to Wilder. That was, to me, the fighter that... I mean, Joshua must be looking at it going, why didn't I get him? I could have got him and demolished him because he didn't... For the first two rounds, no one threw a punch, but Wilder just looked like a complete and utterly empty vessel. Well, Wilder turned up... Of course he turned up for the money. They all did. That's what they get paid for. They're professional of course. Box. But I didn't think at the end of the day, I just didn't, he looked like a shot fighter to me. Yeah. That's how he looks. And he's come out with various reasons behind the scenes, which I've, I've heard and whatever. But, you know, the proof has to be in the pudding. And if he comes back and has another fight, he certainly couldn't have another performance like that because it definitely will be all over him. I think he's got a big struggle to get himself back into, into it if he decides he wants to do that. I think he's got a big struggle because he certainly wasn't at the racing. But having said that, you can't take away what 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 uh, Joe, Joe Parker did. Yeah, Joe Box extremely. No, he well. was brilliant. I mean, yeah, yeah. those overhand rights he was throwing, they yeah. got their tactics spot on, and you've got to take your hat off to them for doing that. He, he was he was brilliant, Frank. Went, You're right. We, we can forget you know, about AJ Wilder, can't we? AJ Wilder, yeah, yeah. I mean, that that that, that to resurrect that has, has got to be some sort of outstanding performance from Wilder. And I thought, and I thought Daniel Dubois proved. I was going to say Daniel, yeah. He did the job, didn't he? And where do you take him next, Frank? Um, he's going to be in a, 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 a... I mean, look, first of all, he's had two tough training camps, one for a world title fight and one for this one. And I've got to tell you, there was a lot of pressure on him. Yep. And before the fight, it's unusual to say this, but before the fight, he had terrible flu and he's just got over that. But having said that... Um, you know, he, it, they were tough training camps. He's going to have. He's going to come out. He'll probably fight again in March, I hope, and he will be in with a top ten fighter because for him, every fight has got to be a meaningful fight. At the moment, all the organisations have got him in in, the, in their top four. So you know, he, he, he's, he's and I think he's read, he showed a lot of a lot of character in that fight. He did show a lot of character against somebody who comes to fight. He's a big old lump. And but he's got fast hands and he and he takes a shot and he certainly um pressured him all the way through the fight.
How's it, how's it looking for Tyson then? Six weeks to go until he steps in with Usyk. How, how's it shaping up? He's, do, he's, he's, he's in training now. He's badly now. His camp's set up there. So he'll be working out there until the fight. Uh, he's really up for it. He's, he's been sparring over here. I know he's been sparring with Mo, Moses Atumio and Duama, uh, who's, who's uh, one of our young prospects. He's been sparring with him and a few of the other guys. They'll be going out there and joining him in the next week or so. So he's gonna he's working very hard. He, he He's mentally, um, all the reports back from the camp, mentally he's there and he's really up for this fight. What sort of card, Frank, can we look forward to? When you, and obviously, you've got, you've put on the fight that everybody wanted to put on, and you've orchestrated it and engineered it, and you said it six months ago that the game changer, you know, and I peed all over the event. I did in Garnu and Fury, but it was the game changer and the opener of the door to the relationship, which brings everybody to the table. But what do we expect in February? We've got Tyson headlining the bill. Do we expect an undercard as, as significant as the one you put together for this set of fights? It'd be a significant undercard, obviously. You know, it's, it's all it, 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 you know as much as. Uh, you know the the guys are getting extremely paid extremely well. You have got to remember the main event is getting is, uh, they're getting a huge amount of money to both of them, but there will be a cracking undercard on there. There'll be some really really I think um, significant fights on there, and uh, it's going to be a great night. I think it'll be a fabulous night. I mean it's we and there and there are a lot of people actually travelling to go and see the fight from over here. We've had a lot of inquiries about um, you know about people going out there, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. What's the Saudis' reaction? Do they are they looking at it through the eyes of these are great events that we're putting on here, and this is going in a direction that we want to go with it? Yeah, the, their their reaction to it is that they're, they're loving it. I mean, you know, after the fight, we sat down with AG, and the, he's he. I mean, he, he just loves his box, and he loved the event sitting there. I mean, it's like, how could you not like like what was happening? I mean, for a boxing fan, it's like boxing heaven. You, we could never put an event on like that anywhere in the world. None of us, none of us promoters could do that. And it's happening. And as I say, for the fans, I mean, what a night that was, a night of boxing, you know, and uh, an excitement. And uh, you, you couldn't be helped but blown away by it. I know that, um, I know Ronaldo loved it, that's for sure. Yeah, he seemed to. And are, are we looking forward to some big fights in 2024, Frank, but here in this country? Yeah, yeah, yeah we've got... Uh, on Moving the atmosphere. Copper box on the tenth. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear that. He said, "Carry on, Frank." <laughs> what did he say? With, with an atmosphere. <laughs> with what? An atmosphere. <laughs> it's just been cheeky. On you go, Frank. So you, okay, uh, uh, there's a bit of atmosphere in there. I know that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> always, too, always. Too much turkey and puddings with you. So, what, what have you got for us? This we've side got of, on the yeah. Yeah, but we've got Hamza Shiraz and Liam Williams, which is a, a cracker. Sam Noakes is also going to be in the, in his title fight against Sylvester. We got we got a cracking show. That's at the Co Copper Box. Obviously, then we got Tyson. Uh, we got a couple of other shows that we're doing at uh, York Hall. Then we're off to we're off to Birmingham, the NEC. We've got Nathan Heady defending his title. Uh, we've also got uh, Liam Davis, McCandless. I mean, cracking, cracking British talent. And they're all getting in, into position to fight for big titles. Sounds good. Sounds Joe, good. Joyce, Joe Joyce will be on that show. Zach Parker, Joe Joyce coming back. He'll want to get himself back in the swing. Yeah. We um, Zhang out. He'll be fighting uh, in March. And, and Frank, uh, finally, with all your experience, in 2024, if it goes well for Tyson in February, will we see Tyson against AJ? I think I think the, providing uh, that you know Tyson comes through, which I believe he will, and if uh, he keeps winning, uh, AJ, I'm sure that fight will happen. Okay, we wish Tyson well as always. Please pass that on, Frank Warren. Oh, as cool. always, thanks to you for joining us. Okay, for, and it's nice to speak to you. A little bit lack, lacked a little bit of atmosphere. To <laughs> well, it's better when you're in here, isn't it? But anyway, next time we'll do that. I don't next know. Time. I'm not too sure about that. But anyway. <laughs>